Hi students, in this video I am going to demonstrate how to perform a Rene test. A Rene test compares the air conduction and bone conduction sensitivity of a subject. So the tuning fork has to be placed on the mastoid process for bone conduction excitation. So mastoid process of prominent bone posterior to the auricle or pinna. The tuning fork has to be excited by striking the tips of the prongs on the elbow and the base of the tuning fork is placed against the mastoid process. Now the subject will be hearing the sound through bone conduction mode. We need to wait till the subject stops hearing the sound through bone conduction. As soon as the subject indicates that he has stopped hearing through bone conduction mode, we need to shift the tuning fork to the in front of the ear canal to check if he or she is hearing through air conduction. If the subject indicates he is hearing through air conduction, even after indicating that he is not hearing sound through bone conduction, that indicates the air conduction hearing sensitivity is better than bone conduction hearing sensitivity, which determines that the subject has normal hearing or sensory neural hearing loss. If the subject says he is not hearing the sound in air conduction mode, after indicating that he has stopped hearing in bone conduction, then that indicates negative Rene, which means the subject may have conductive hearing loss. The modified procedure for Rene test involves in alternatively placing the vibrating tuning fork at the mastoid process and in front of the ear canal. This shortens the test procedure duration. So the tuning fork will be striken and alternative placed between the mastoid process and in front of the ear canal. The subject has to tell where he or she heard the sound louder. So here the subject says the sound was perceived louder in front of the ear canal rather than at the mastoid process. So ear conduction is louder than bone conduction which indicates Rene is positive. The interpretation is the subject has either normal hearing or sensory neural hearing loss.